Take Two Interactive has embarked on a journey to broaden inclusivity in their company. What came of that effort are ERGs, employee resource groups, which are voluntary groups of employees coming together to create a safe space to address topics that affect specific communities. At Take Two Interactive Software, we aspire to be the most creative, the most efficient, and the most innovative company in the entertainment industry. One of the ways we think we can achieve that is by making sure that our greatest resource, our people, is reflected in a diverse culture that we can celebrate and learn from. So we've created a variety of employee resource groups throughout the organization that are run by stakeholders from those communities that can help both shape how our company addresses DE&I, but also more importantly, how they can help share their experiences and culture with their fellow colleagues and we can work better as a community. Allies, champions, advocates, um, all of that is important. It's important when I think there's moments of vulnerability and you need to know that you have those allies and champions in your corner. I think it's also incredibly important when we talk about visibility and access um, and resources, it's oftentimes allies that can really make the connection on those things. Well, it's very important to have allies in these communities that don't identify as part of the ERG, just to better understand the struggles that we as women, all women, including trans women and non-binary people, the things that we face on a daily basis, not just in the workplace. Our hope is that by being inclusive of allies, we can help equip them to better understand and support their colleagues, teams, even in their personal lives with their mothers, their daughters, sisters, friends who identify in this way. We get to have this great community of people that are enthusiastic and encouraging and welcoming and helpful who want to be here. The community that we've managed to build in these ERGs is just incredible. And particularly when it comes to, you know, LGBTQ plus ERGs, you know, we want to make sure that everyone is getting what they need from the ERG as well. So, you know, what are some of the big moves forward we can make within an organization or within a market? But frankly, it's just an amazing place to be to say, we're all here celebrating together and our job is to make sure that everyone is celebrating with us as well. Hearing firsthand, not only how members of those communities are helping to make a difference in our industry, but also what those that are at our company and in the industry that are not part of those communities, what can we do to be better allies? What can we do to be supportive and help make effective change for the long term? I think it's important to have people, senior people of the company, involved in these initiatives so that everyone understands that the company takes it seriously. Allyship is incredibly important. I cannot stress that enough. Allies, you know, have an opportunity to leverage both their voice and their unique positionality as it relates to maybe the authority that they have within their job title or their social identity and the privilege that they carry. We need people to understand um, where people in our community are coming from. Uh, we need advocates. We need people to advocate for LGBT rights. It's also nice to have allies within our ERG because not everyone is out or is out to a different degree. And so we have we want to create a space for everyone, including allies. Ally ERG started, you know, at the very genesis of all these ERGs. I would say we're also working on learning uh, and, and trying to understand what our place is in the continued DEI efforts that we're doing at the company and in the world. You don't have to be of any specific culture, race, gender, what have you, um, any kind of you know sexual orientation or anything, it doesn't matter. You can be an ally of anybody. You know, we could have not gotten as far in LGBT plus rights without uh, ally support. Allies is a part of the community. And so to effectively you know, to get anything done, I feel like it's important to have their half, I feel like, of our group, right? You're either part of the community, uh, part of the alphabet community, or you are not, right? And if you're not, but you still want to be a part of it, then you are an ally. And, you know, with when our members and our allies come together is where I really think the magic happens. Well, I think one of the benefits of our ERG groups is that they have the ability to help educate and share their experiences, their concerns, um, and, and their hopes for the future with our fellow colleagues and bringing in outside speakers uh, as well. 
And we've done that also with T2Q, where again, we brought in outside speakers such as Gordon Bellamy and what those that are at our company and in the industry that are not part of those communities, what can we do to be better allies? What can we do to be supportive and help make effective change for the long term? It's critical that organizations like Take Two work with GGP. Um, Take Two is systemic. They are a systemic part of our craft. And just like um, in past generations, it's been important to have access to education, um, important to have access to being part of the military, well, being a part of the core institutions of this craft and knowing that you can be your whole self here um, really defines the, the culture and the ethics of games. Unity and togetherness is incredibly important when it comes to getting work done. If you want your business or your product or you know your your demographic or whatever um, to be pleased with the product that you're selling them you want to have people together that understand and feel supported as they're putting their blood sweat and tears into that work allies really help normalize discussing and declaring and just being neurodivergent a lot of folks have family members or friends who are neurodiverse and being an ally in nas has also helped them in their professional and personal lives too. When I first put out the call to start my ERG, um, two allies at my company jumped in were the first ones to be like, yeah, we definitely want to be a part of it. And just knowing that we have the support of people who want to learn about the particular struggles we face is vital to us making any change. The biggest thing for the future is to continue to learn, to continue to evolve, and most importantly, to continue to be committed to making changes. And we certainly are, and we, and we will be for, for the long term.